If you've ever been in a situation where you have two different applications running and you want them both visible, then you can use the tool desk bits. Like you see right now, if I want to type this text from one application right here to another application in the background, and once I select the background application, the foreground application will disappear. So now if I want to type the second uh, paragraph of this text and I type this, I can't see the other text. So I need to go back, select it again, and then I can type again, but it disappears. Well, with this little tool called desk pins, I can, this problem can be fixed and you can pin applications to the front of your screen so that it comes above the other applications. You can pin um, an application right here and then select desk pins or I already have one pin running right now, but if you click again, you can select the second pin and you can click the application you want to come above the other applications on your screen. So right now I click this application and yeah, I can still move it and things like that, but it keeps running in the foreground. So when I run the background application and I select things right here, the foreground application is still visible and I can type my text right here. So you see right now, if I do something in the background application, the foreground application is still visible and this is very handy in different situations. Another example is when you use Visual Studio to develop your own application. Like you see right here, I have my code right here. And when this is selected in the background, the foreground will be, will disappear. Like you see, this is an emulator and the emulator is a smartphone that will be simulated and you can test your code and application with the simulator. If you want to change something in the code, like right here, and then your emulator disappears. Well, again, you can select this. Then desk pins, I already have one pin enabled right now. You can select this and pin your application. Now I pin the smartphone that is simulated and I can still move it around. But when I do something in my code in the background, my foreground application is still available, the smartphone. Right now the application is loaded or anything, but you can see that it works. And like right here, if I want to change something, to white, I can do that and I can still see the emulator running in front of it. So this is a second easy way I use this application. Before you can use this tool, you will need to download and install desk pins. You can go to this website and the link of this will be in the description as well. And you can read some of it if you want. And once you go to downloads, you can download the version that is uh, needed for you. For me it's Windows 10 and I will download this and once you download this you can open this and it will start the wizard to install. For me it will give an error because I already have it installed but it's simply like this you go install and everything will be done for you. I will just uh, quit the process here because I already have it installed and uh, yeah that's it. Um, then you can close it and it will be available right here on the arrow and then you can use your pin like this and basically use for any application you want right here and you can also uh, make it disappear again by clicking on the pin right now and now the pin disappears good luck and yeah i hope this is a handy tool you can use throughout uh, yeah in the future